Storm Team Weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Josh Johns. Welcome back, everyone. So earlier, it looked really cloudy. Are we expecting some rain rolling? You know, as we went into the evening, it did look a little bit cloudy. And it was actually storms that fell apart over Sterling City that came in from the north. They were running all the way from Lubbock. When I woke up this morning, I looked down, there's rain in Lubbock, and through the afternoon, it just kept bouncing down to the south and just fell apart before it got to us. We just we just had no hope for rain today. Take a look at your time lapse. You'll see what we're talking about with those evening clouds. Those quickly burned off. And then we had another push of clouds from the west. These were from developing storms out towards Midland. It kind of fell apart briefly. You can see them there at sunset. And just looking at radar, we still have a few thunderstorms trying to get going towards Crane. Don't think those make it our way, but we'll keep a close eye on them through the night. The big story today was we didn't hit 100 degrees. Not only did we not hit 100 degrees, Mariah, we didn't even hit 98. We had 96 for your high. Our low was 70. Average high this time of year is 91, so we're still above average, but at least it's not those triple digits we were dealing with, and especially not the triple digits we were dealing with. In 2011, we topped out at 105 on this day back then. Of course, that was the year we had 100, 100 degree days. No, thank you. I don't want that. We'll be watching storms through the west tonight. Some pop-up storms are going to be possible tomorrow afternoon, mainly just a few widely scattered showers. Most of you won't see anything. What you will see is a little bit of a break in the heat for the weekend. Then we go back to those upper 90s and near triple digits as we go into the new week. Look on the Live Radar Network. There's not much out there currently. We are watching some developing showers out here towards Crane. And again, I don't think those make this way towards us. Let's pull on over there and show you what's been going on over the Trans-Pecos region this evening. You have one storm go up there near Pe Pecos, and now we got one there uh, just off to the west of Crane. Again, I think most of us stay dry overnight. We will get a view of those high clouds coming in from it. But last night we had a few thunderstorms, and we'll roll back because here's your radar replay. You'll see those thunderstorms that flew across portions of West Texas last night. Had one try to come into Runnels County, didn't work. Then another one came into Coke County and fell apart. But before it got into Coke County, it did some damage up in Colorado City. This is a picture from one of the storm chasers I follow on Twitter. It's Joe Ponce out there in Colorado City, and you can see the uh, power lines that were bent over out there to the northeast of Colorado City. They were expecting 80 mile per hour winds and potentially baseball size hail with that storm. Luckily, it fell apart before it got to any of our area. 84 degrees in San Angelo right now. It's 82 in Ozona, 85 in Sterling City, 79 currently in Eden. A pretty nice night out there with those dew points sitting in the 50s. It feels a little bit more humid than it did. Winds are out of the south. They're staying out of the south tonight and they'll be out of the south tomorrow as well with low pressure off to our northwest. Any of those storms are firing on the dry line this evening. Tomorrow, the dry line's west of us once again, but we will still have the potential of all the moisture around to see a few thunderstorms. So severe weather going on over western Nebraska, western South Dakota, where they're dealing with some of those severe thunderstorms. Those aren't heading our way. Tomorrow, the storm should stay north and west, but we will have the potential again for a pop-up splash or dash shower. Let me show you what I'm talking about on Futurecast as we go through time. Because you'll see that stuff out to the west kind of fall apart as it moves towards us. We'll see temperatures fall down into the 70s. Tomorrow we get back up into the mid-90s for your high temperatures. And watch what happens as we go into the afternoon. Now, the models have backed off a little bit, but they still have the potential again for one or two showers. I think most of us stay pretty dry tomorrow. I've only got the chance at about 20%. We're going to be watching anything that forms to the north and west again. Again, though, although a little bit stronger of a ridge in place is really going to help squash those thunderstorms as we go through the evening. Now, starting off Sunday, we'll be in the mid-70s, muggy again. And then Sunday, much like Saturday, plenty of moisture out there. Temperatures getting up into the mid-90s once again. We'll have to watch for a few showers. It depends on where these boundaries come out of the storms that are out there tonight, where these will exactly stay up. So just go download the Contra Valley homepage app. It has radar. It has warnings. It'll alert you if anything's coming in. 73 degrees tonight. Partly cloudy with a stray storm possible. We'll have a 20% chance. I think most of us stay pretty dry, though. Winds out of the south at about 7 to 10 miles per hour. Then for your Saturday, up to 97. And it'll be tough to get there with the moisture out there. So we could even top off at 95. We a 20% chance of an evening storm. Otherwise, mainly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Won't be a bad day to be outside tomorrow. Winds out of the south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Take a look at your extended forecast because we just couldn't keep the heat away from us. 96 Sunday, we're pretty nice there with a few evening storms possible as a wave comes in from Mexico. Could pop off some thunderstorms. As we go Monday through Friday, we're back, Mariah, to the 99, 98 degree weather we've been dealing with. It's summertime. I can't yeah. keep it away. I want to keep it away. Just can't. We're going to be getting back up to the upper 90s may be touching 100 degrees at some times there with uh, the uh, temperatures getting up towards 100 degrees. You never know 
what will happen in the summer, though. you got to watch it very closely. Either way, looks like it's going to be hot again next week. I, yeah. I, I'm trying to keep it away. I really am. It's just impossible. <laughs> You know, you I know Rachel's forecast. gonna be so mad. Yeah, you may forecast the weather, but you don't control it. I wish I did. Yeah, that'd be cool if you did. Actually, it'd be dangerous if I did. Oh. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, you better that. not get into that. All right, coming up on KSAN News at 10, if you're hitting the gym this summer, don't overdo it. We'll talk about the